Hey everyone, it's Mark for Windows Central and this is the Lumia 950 running Windows 10 Mobile Insider build 14322. I'll show you what's new in this build, there's a lot to cover, so let's get to it. All right, so let's talk notifications first. The app icon now stays on top of the list instead of being repeated per line. There's also now a default setting to display the three most recent notifications per app. You'll need to tap expand to see the rest. There's also now prioritization. Go to settings, system, notifications and actions and prioritize which app notifications are more important to you. You can choose normal, high or top. Next, you can add, remove, and rearrange the quick actions that show up in the action center. Just go to settings, system, notifications and actions, and press and hold on the quick actions to the place where you want them to be. If you want to add or remove a quick action, there's a link below the grid that lets you turn on or off the available quick actions. Up next, you can now share photos and links to Cortana. For example, you can remind yourself to read a Windows Central story at a later time. Just go to share, select Cortana, and fill out the rest for your reminder. It's a little buggy and photos don't show up correctly, but you get the idea of how it will work. Another thing that's new is USB Ethernet support with Continuum. This means you can connect a USB Ethernet adapter to the Microsoft Display Dock. Now, I'm not able to test this right now, but let us know if it works for you. Also new is the camera button on the lock screen. When your phone is locked, the back button on the navigation bar is now replaced with a camera button. Press and hold this button to launch the camera app from the lock screen. This will be useful for devices without a physical camera button. Also, the lock screen now show the media controls on top while you're listening to music. Other small changes in the settings include the new icons per setting. You could also now adjust the percentage in which battery saver turns on, which is 20% uh, by default. You can now also set the time in which you are most active on your phone, so the phone won't bother you for Windows updates. You can set it in settings, update and security, and then Windows Update. Microsoft has added other fixes as well, and you can see the full change log over at Windows Central. So, what do you think of the new features? Let us know in the comments. I'm Mark for Windows Central. Thanks for watching.